Okay, so what we've done now is we've plugged a USB flash drive into the USB on the front of the set-top box. Um, that will allow us to watch uh, multimedia from the USB. Um, it will also allow us to record to it. Um, if you actually want to record onto it, if we get out of there, and for instance you want to record the cricket, you can just hit the record button and it will automatically start recording to your hard drive. You can just stop that. And if you want to go in through your EPG, which you can record direct from your EPG as well, which is your built-in program guide by pressing the EPG button on your remote. Go in and select the program that you want to record. Select OK. That'll bring up your event guide. You can go through. You, you've got your start and your finish time. You can adjust that if you want to. So if your program's running late, which it frequently is, you can put that in. Extend it a bit more go in, you can record it once, daily, weekly, Monday to Friday, whatever, and then you hit enter to record and it'll come up in your event schedule and it'll all set and it'll start up and record at 16.33 as per your guide. As I said before, you can easily watch a pre-recorded program. So if you press the media button on your remote, that'll bring up your multimedia through the USB. Um, if you select DVR and click OK or Enter, it'll bring up what it's called your USB. And go in and enter that again. And that is the cricket that we watched before. So if you hit the Enter button, that'll bring that up and if you press the red button at the bottom of your remote that'll put it onto full screen and that gives you what you've pre-recorded you can of course fast forward that a um, couple of different speeds that you can go through to we'll just start that again I didn't record quite enough of that um, but you can fast forward and you can rewind as well you've got stop and as well your pause so your normal functions that you find on a DVR or a DVD player and that's pretty much about it